Oh, hey, intern, come here. In today's interview, I want you to explain how Google processes billions of searches every day and how that new AI mode works. Let's say you search best coffee shops in Seattle. Google is gonna run through four stages. Now, the first is Googlebot crawls to discover web pages. Then indexing analyzes and stores content in a massive distributed database. From there, ranking orders relevance by looking at hundreds of signals. And then serving delivers page results. How do you index billions of pages and make them searchable in milliseconds? We'd use an inverted index. So for the word coffee, we'd store every page mentioning it. When the query comes in, we'd instantly look up pages containing best coffee shops Seattle. And we would probably get millions of candidates. We'd then pass them to a separate ranking system that would sort out which ones are most relevant. And what determines the results of these rankings if you have millions of pages about coffee shops in Seattle? The ranking algorithm combines content relevance. So does this page actually review Seattle coffee shops? It'll also look at site authority from backlinks, user experience signals like page speed, and also behavioral data. It also personalizes. So if you're searching from downtown Seattle, then you're more likely to see coffee shops in the area near you. How does the new AI mode fit into this architecture? AI mode adds a synthesis layer. For best coffee shops in Seattle, Google fans out related queries like Seattle best coffee ratings or specialty coffee in Seattle. It then pulls the top results from each and then an LLM reads those results and generates a summary with citations. Look, I can't lie, Anton, this is pretty good. And I saw those hands-on projects on your resume. Where are you getting those from? Oh, I just go to learn.nextwork.org and I do a bunch of hands-on projects. And your documentation looks looks really good too. They have a ton of AI ones and I make sure that I fill in the questions as I go so I get documentation that I can then share to GitHub or LinkedIn or anywhere I want to prove my skills. You got the job. Hey, thanks man.